Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, in this video, I just want to show you what's going on with my computer. Uh, I built a new PC. Uh, I do video editing, of course, um, on the PC, not as much as I should, but um, also photo editing because I'm a photographer. That's how I learned right there before the internet. Um, back in the film days, you know. I miss the film days, but uh, anyway, um, also audio-wise, I swapped out the Rainmakers for the Totem uh, Kin monitors. Uh, it just fit the Stormtrooper theme that I'm going with. The Rainmaker's a bigger speaker, it's fuller range, these free up some space on my desktop, and it goes with the white and black build that I'm doing. Uh, I might get a sub with those, though, too, just to uh, fill out the bottom end. Anyway, uh, so this is what I built. My last PC kind of died on me, so uh, I thought might as well upgrade. It's been about four years. Um, I never buy store-bought PCs. Um, I've never had good luck. Uh, so this time, a lot of LED stuff came out since then, so I figured let's do it. So I went liquid cooling. This is the first time I did a liquid cooler. So Leon Lee... Uh, Galahad 100, or 240 millimeter radiator. Uh, I should have gone with a 360 and got the triple because I got this big open spot here now with nothing in it. But uh, I guess thermally the, the two wide is even better. The three, it just has even more fluid, I guess, and it holds more heat. Um, so I think it's, you know, within a, a couple degrees, not as good. But uh, it does look cooler, so I do wish I went with the triple. Uh, this case has the 140 millimeter fans. So being the audio guy, um, I am concerned with the sound because it's. If I make a PC that looks really good, I don't. I, I want to see it, so it's sitting next to me on the desk here, and I don't want it to interfere with the noise floor of what I'm listening to. So I needed a piece or a wanted, let's say, a some quiet fans. So this is with the glass off. The side is glass, uh, so you can see in there. But this is the Fractal Meshify 2 case. I just kind of picked this on accident because I wanted a white one that looked cool. So I was looking at them like, oh, we got this one. Okay, I'll take that one. And then turns out it runs some of the best thermals um, around. So I kind of lucked out. I went with, I've always been an AMD guy, kind of, uh, always been rooting for the underdog so to speak and um amd was always a little bit cheaper but they had some heavy hitters when you get up into their flagship pcs they're far cheaper than the intels and they run right with them and sometimes better them so i went amd again uh, my last i don't know six pcs have all been amds so uh the so this is the i kept working myself up in the you know ryzen 5 would be fine ryzen 7 would be better well this is the ryzen 9 5800x it's a 12 core processor there's there was only one processor above this and that was a 16 core which wouldn't help my gaming any and it's unlikely that it would even render my videos quicker so i do 4k video rendering uh now for the youtube channel um crucial that's 32 gigs of ram at first i was like eh, i don't want the led ram um but uh now i kind of want it but this is they, they don't have very many options in white uh so that's 32 gigs i got two more slots so i can go to 64 if i wanted but um uh, i'm not running out of ram now so it, it just seems like that wouldn't be uh it would be pointless to do that uh the big the big thing here is the video card so this is the Radeon uh, 6800 XT. So it's a beast. This is the Red Devil from Power Color. Um, obviously not red at the moment. Um, I got this brace here off uh, eBay, I think, or Amazon. It was like it was like nine bucks. So because it's a very big, heavy card, and it was sagging a bit on this side, so I wanted to prop that up so it didn't put any stress on the. PCI Express slot. Uh, so I got that, but then in the meantime, really same day, I decided that I want to see this because this side lights up the bottom. You can see there, kind of lights up with these cool 
slashes and I want to mount it vertically. So Fractal makes a vertical mount. Um, it's a PCI Express 3.0 mount. And uh, this is a 4.0 slot and a card that supports 4.0. So I, uh, it, but it's it's the one that fits these seven slots. These seven uh, blanks or whatever these are pull out and then it fits in there and the card goes into it. And the card's really thick, so I didn't want to mount it vertically here in these two vertical slots because the fans would be right up against the glass. So the fractal mount that's made for this case puts it back quite a ways, and then you have plenty of room for breathing because that seems to be the big uh, problem with them. Um, but anyway, let's get it in there and see how it goes. Okay, so I got the video card out, removed the seven slot tab things. Uh, this this looks ugly to me. Uh, it's got this little jumper, one eight pin, and then it goes to a six pin and a two pin. So two eight pins, basically. Uh, but this heat shrink and these little wires sticking out looks kind of ugly. So does that. So I also got these extensions. And then there's some wire loom to make them look all neat. So we're going to try to dress it up a little bit with those. Uh, here is the bracket which goes in there like that. And uh, I gotta put some screws in it. The fractal bracket, the factory one. And then also this cable, which feels really high quality. Um, I guess a lot of the problems with these vertical riser brackets or the cables is that they're, they're all crappy and many of them don't work. So. Uh, so this one was on the expensive side and it says PCI Express 3.0, but um, a guy, said in one of the reviews that he plugged his in and it was registering as 4.0. So probably just because that's a high quality piece. So we're gonna try, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for that. The completed bracket assembly, there's only four screws. Now it's gonna go in. Okay, I got the vertical bracket in. It's a little tricky because you have to mount the video card to the bracket first before the bracket goes in. Otherwise you don't have access to these screws over here, uh, over there anyway uh to attach it so uh i got that in there's also the rgb for the motherboard so the motherboard can control the lights i uh, had to route which goes in way back there so that's kind of a pain you got to plan that before and then you got to plug the pci cable in after you mount the card otherwise you don't have any slack to put the card on uh, which is hard to get to because it's a really big card and the PCI slot's down there. So it's tricky, but not terribly ridiculous. Uh, so I put these extension cables on here with the looms, which is pretty cool. I just have to still connect to the power in the back. Uh, now I have a couple extra hard drives that are going in. They go down here under this somewhere. I also got some new fans. I'm not sure, some RGB fans. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put those in, but this little plate has to come out here so I can do triple fans down the front and all lit up. So I have more than just the lights in the middle here. So anyway, I'm getting some lens flare here. All right, I'm gonna make some more progress and we'll check in. Okay, it's uh, turning into a real rat's nest here, but uh, I got the wires tied up. Got the two new hard drives down there. It's a little tricky to fish the wires. Wish I would have known where they had to go before um, before I put the video card in because they got to go right there and you can't reach it. But I got them. Uh, we'll see if everything works when I power it back on though. So I got the card mounted vertically. It does look a lot cooler because you can see the sort of slashes on the uh, Red Devil 6800 XT card. Uh, I did not put the LED fans in yet. Uh, I bought some, but I think I'm going to get different ones because the ones I got are Leon Lee's, the SL, and they just have lights that go around the fan, and they won't match my Leon Lee cooler, which has lights in the fan itself. So... The new AL series uh, seems to be closer to what's in here. So I'm going to put those on the front. I'm going to do three. 
took this panel off because I got a couple hard drives in here now. I'm going to do three fans so the hard drives will get some cooling because they just get hot just sitting there. It's kind of strange. And they don't make a 140 yet, so I'll just wait until that comes out to swap that one. But uh, I'm having all the kinds of bugs. So um, there's video stuttering. There is audio cutting out. Uh, I can't even play a YouTube video smoothly. It's very strange. So I think that since it's the PCI Express 4.0 motherboard, and um, this is the Gigabyte Vision B550, by the way, um, and it's a uh, PCI Express 4.0 video card, uh, the Fractal kit comes with a PCI Express 3.0 cable. And some people were saying that it worked fine, but um, I think they were using NVIDIA cards. And uh, with the AMD card, I think it's real picky about it. So I ordered a PCI Express 4.0 card. I'm going to see if this one will work. Hopefully the spacing on those screws and everything, the, the screw holes on this plate will work with the fractal case. It's weird. The cables are all separated. They act like it's for airflow or something, but... I don't know. We'll see. The, there's, I don't see any airflow need behind the card because the fans are all on the front. So it's like, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. But hopefully it makes a difference in the data that that gets carried. Now these aren't cheap either. This one is um, it's a easy DIY uh, cable, 20 centimeter, because that's what the factory um, fractal one is. So I figured it'd be the right length. And then I got the one with the right angle, like this one, so it would, uh, so the card would plug in just like this. But uh, that cable is fifty bucks, and there's some of them that go up to ninety dollars or more, which is kind of crazy. We're gonna try this one out and see if it works, though. Well, you can see how that worked out. Uh, it didn't work at all because I took out the this is the Fractal 3.0 cable. Um, and I put in the easy DIY, or I tried to put in, and this piece does not fit in the metal mount. Let me grab that. Okay, here's the metal frame. And it won't go in there because, uh, this piece is in the way. This plastic chunk there is in the way, but also the metal won't slide under here between this plastic and the board itself. So this won't fit in there. So, uh, I put it back horizontally and the computer's working like a champ. So that definitely was the problem. But uh, I'll have to figure something else out. So follow me for more unhelpful tips. <laughs> uh, anyway, you guys have a good one.